friends, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are having an amazing day. If you have ever wondered why certain foods brown when cooked or baked, it is a result of what we call the Maillard reaction, named after the French chemist Louis Camille Maillard, who discovered that when amino acids and sugars were heated, they started to take on a yellow discoloration and with further heating they would brown even more. The Maillard reaction is a chemical reaction that takes place between sugars and proteins. It doesn't involve enzymes, i.e. biological catalysts, and results in food browning as well as developing many complex flavours and aromas. Although the Maillard reaction generally occurs when heat is applied at temperatures of around 140 to 165 degrees centigrade, if given enough time, it can occur at room temperature. With proteins present, browning happens faster at a lower temperature. Proteins in eggs, flour and dairy products all take place in Maillard browning and generally the more protein the more browning. Much of the flavour in the crusts of baked goods is due to this reaction and it is generally considered to be very desirable. Think roasted cocoa, coffee, nuts, toffee, maple syrup, molasses. In fact, hundreds of different flavour compounds can be produced depending on the type of food used, the temperature that it is heated to, the length of the cooking time and whether there is any air present. Since all foods contain different compositions of amino acids and sugars, the flavours produced after cooking can very much vary. It is this vast range of flavour compounds that make food more appetising, hence why it is such an important reaction. So, what affects the reaction? Firstly, temperature. The more heat, the more browning. Generally, temperatures of over 140 degrees centigrade. However, as I have already mentioned, it can occur at lower temperatures, even room temperature. For example, the discoloration of dry milk solids and white chocolate when left in storage for too long, which can also result in the development of off flavours. Secondly, how much moisture is present? If there is too much moisture, it takes longer for the food to reach higher temperatures, slowing down the reaction. To induce it, the best cooking methods are grilling, roasting and baking. Thirdly, the composition of proteins and sugars present, specifically amino acids and what we call reducing sugars. Examples of reducing sugars include glucose, fructose, lactose, maltose and galactose. Milk proteins and lactose brown more quickly, which explains why dry milk solids and white chocolate can undergo discoloration if left for too long. It's also why certain baked goods containing milk may brown at a faster rate. Another thing that we sometimes do is brush the top of our baked goods with an egg wash. As we know, egg and milk contain proteins and sugars. This induces the reaction resulting in that golden brown crust which makes the food oh so appealing. And fourthly, the pH of the environment. A more alkaline environment, i.e. a higher pH, will speed up the reaction. For example, pretzels and bagels, although I have never made them myself, I am aware that they are either dipped or boiled in a solution containing water and lye or baking soda, which raises the pH, resulting in that golden brown crust. And that brings us to the end of this video. Hopefully you now have a better understanding of this reaction, why it is so important in the food industry, and how you can use it to your advantage to produce better looking and tasting foods. 
As I have already said in many of my other videos, baking is very much a science. It's all about balancing different ingredients and getting the conditions just right to produce perfect results. If you have any questions, please do pop them in the comments below and I will happily answer them if I can. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.